Hi everyone, this is Josh from vMaker and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a video that you've just recorded on vMaker. Let's get started. Once you're done recording your video, your video will open in a new tab. That's the player page of vMaker where after your video is successfully uploaded, you'll be able to see it. And this is what the player page looks like. When you scroll down, you'll be able to see an edit icon right below the video which is over here. When you click on it, the editor of vMaker will be open. In the vMaker editor, you primarily have four key functionalities, which are trim, crop, flip, and rotate. Now I'll first show you how you can trim the video. Click on the trim icon and your video will open up. So you can move these two cursors, which are on the either side of the video to remove the section that could have accidentally be recorded when you were starting off the video or when you were finishing it. So using the trim function, you will be able to cut out the rough edges at the starting and the ending of the video. So once you move this cursor to the right, the section that has been recorded before that will be removed. And the same goes on for the cursor that's at the end of the video as well. When you move it to the left, the section that's on the right side of the cursor will be trimmed out. Once you're done with the trimming, you have to just click on the green tick mark that's over here. To crop the video, all you have to do is click on this icon and you have to drag the screen and just place the section that you want to appear on the video within the frame that's behind and click on apply. Only that section of the screen will be cropped. If you want to flip the video, you can flip it. So if it's a POV video and you want the video to be flipped, you can flip the video as well. And you can also rotate the video should you wish. And once you're done editing your video, you have to click on export video, which is on the top right side of the screen. When you click on export video, all your changes will be rendered and all your changes will be saved to the original video. If you want, you can always duplicate the video that you've created and then edit it to make sure that you always have a backup video of the original copy. Now that's it, the video has been edited and we have the edited file right over here and all the edits have been carried out. And now you can share this video with anyone using the share link. And you can also notice right below the caption of the video that it says export completed May 11, 2011 with a particular date when you have edited this video to show you that this is an edited version of the video. And you can also rename the video should you wish. And that's about it. We are done editing the video and that's how you use the editor on vMaker. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I hope this video was useful for you. I'll see you in another video. Until then, cheers and bye.